It is both a time for repentance and a time for thanks, intones the mayor. Then he reads the list of past District 12 victors. In 74 years, we have had exactly two. Only one is still alive, Hamich Aberthany, a paunchy middle-aged man who at this moment appears hollering something unintelligible, staggers onto the stage and falls into the third chair. The mayor looks distressed. Since all of this is being televised, right now District 12 is the laughingstock of Pan M, and he knows it. He quickly tries to pull the attention back to the reaping by introducing Effie Trinket. Bright and bubbly as ever, Effie Trinket trots to the podium and gives her signature, Happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor. It's time for the drawing. Effie Trinket says, as she always does, ladies first, and crosses to the glass ball with the girls' names. She reaches in, digs her hand deep into the ball, and pulls out a slip of paper. The crowd draws in a collective breath, and then you can hear a pin drop, and I'm feeling nauseous and so desperately hoping that it's not me, that it's not me, that it's not me. Effie Trinket crosses back to the podium, smooths the slip of paper, and reads out the name in a clear voice. And it's not me. It's Primrose Everdeen. Prim! The strangled cry comes out of my throat and my muscles begin to move again. Prim! I don't need to shove through the crowd. The other kids make way immediately, allowing me a straight path to the stage. I reach her just as she is about to mount the steps. With one sweep of my arm, I push her behind me. I volunteer, I gasp. I volunteer as tribute. Prim is screaming hysterically behind me. She has wrapped her skinny arms around me like a vice. No, Katniss, no, you can't go. Prim, let go, I say harshly, because it's upsetting me and I don't want to cry. Let go. Well, bravo, gushes Effie Trinket. That's the spirit of the games. What's your name? I swallow hard. Katniss Everdeen, I say.